Hey, welcome back to the Build It Basement review on the UE Fits uh, by Ultimate Ears. Uh, so it's been about a week since I did my unboxing of the UE Fits, and I had a person uh, ask me what I think and how they're working out. So uh, doing updated video on that, and um, I'm gonna tell you what I think. So first things first, the app. Um, first video on these was pretty quick. Um, I actually just wanted to get them in my ears, wanted to try them out, wanted to uh, see what they were like, and I was heading off for a trip. So it was a really quick video, wasn't the best quality. I apologize for that. Hopefully this one's a little bit better, a little bit better of a review of the actual function of the earbuds. Um, so first things first, I'm going to go over the app real quick that comes or that you download to set up your UE Fits. Um, looking at my phone right now. So this is kind of the home screen that comes with this. It kind of shows you uh, the earbuds. It wants you to connect to them. Once you're connected to them, um, you've got a section here that uh, kind of goes over how to mold the ear tips to your ears. Uh, that process goes pretty smooth. It's not that difficult. Uh, basically, you insert the ear phone into the ear like so. Give it a little bit of a twist and push it in kind of gently but firmly. Uh, into both ears. Um, once you do that and you get a fit that you think feels pretty good, I actually continue to put pressure on them and I follow the process that they show you uh, on the step-by-step -step here. Um, kind of goes on, shows you how to do them. These are actually to replace new tips in case you messed up on your first ones. Uh, new tips I believe are about $25-$26. Uh, so if you have an issue they'll probably send you a pair for for free or, or next to nothing, maybe just shipping. Um, but they also allow you to buy additional pairs in case you want to share your earphones with a family member or wife or, or something. Um, so you can kind of have everybody have their own custom fits. Uh, but I'll tell you right now, there's a deal on these headsets. Um, I think they're normally about 250 and they're about 199 right now. So just buy another pair if you like them. Um, and I'm not getting paid to say that I have nothing to do with uh, Logitech or, or the Ultimate Ears brand. Um, so anyways, so no, uh, molding new tips, you put them in your ear, you hold them down, you go through the steps on the phone, uh, and then basically there is a UV light that comes on in the earphones themselves. And that UV light is not producing heat directly, but what it is doing is it's providing UV light to cure the actual tips. The process of curing those tips generates an exothermic process. So it actually generates heat in the process of causing them to get firm. Um, it's not uncomfortable, uh, it's noticeable, but maybe feels like 10, 15 degrees difference uh, than what you would have in your ear normally. Um, it lasts, actually it lasts a little longer than I thought it should, uh, or I thought it would. Um, probably three or so minutes, I'd guess. Um, but again, not, not horrible, um, but good, and, and it worked pretty well. So that's when you mold your new tips. And I'll tell you that the feel is good, the mold is good. And these ear tips are a little bit different than most ear tips that you'll see. Um, show this real quick. So, on these earphones specifically, the the tip that goes on them is large, and I don't mean large in the sense that the earphone tip itself is is large. Um, it's the whole unit is large, because basically what you're covering is the whole. Uh, the driver and everything else. The driver does not set back. The driver is actually front and forward on these. Um, and then you basically have your driver, you have your battery, uh, and then you have your port for sound to come out of on this back side over here. And the ear tip itself covers that whole unit, which is a little different than most others. Um, it does direct the sound to go towards the ear opening, which in all, the actual moldable part of it is on the inside more so than the out um, and the custom feel that you get is a combination of the flexible uh, silicone uh, along with the and I don't know what the material is they're using specifically but the material they're using allows it to firm up and kind of fit your ear a little bit better so there's a combination of both soft and um, slightly more rigid materials in there but it does make for good fit and, and Charging port right here on the on the um, on the top side. R to tell you which one's right, which one's left. There's a logo on there that you can barely see. It does light up when they're charging. Um, 
sound port for calls. Uh, calls do seem to work very well on these. Uh, your noise reduction in terms of the person wearing the earbuds is good because these are blocking out sound pretty good um, just because they are fitting really well to the ear. Um, but on top of that, the uh, sound cancellation, the noise cancellation to the people that you're talking to on the other side of the phone seems pretty good as well. Um, I actually tried them out while lawn mowing and didn't have any complaints from the wife, which is not normal. So, that being said, testing your fit on these. So, basically, when you test your fit, um, it, it's playing sounds, playing tones. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll hit resume on that. So it will it will actually play a sound that will allow you to hear whether or not the bass tones are proper because the bass that you get when you have a sealed earbud, when you have a small speaker adjoined to your ear uh, with a good sealed cavity around both, uh, bass is much lower, stronger. Um, can't say you'll feel it, but it works. Uh, that's probably the number one thing that happens with earbuds if you think they don't have a lot of bass in your earbuds, specifically earbuds, not over the ear or on the ear, um, but earbuds. It's because you do not have a good uh, fit in your um, your ear. So the selfie thing they want you to do. Um, hold on, real quick. Get backwards here. Get back. The, the selfie thing they want you to do, they want to take a picture, uh, they want you to take a picture of you with your earbuds on. It's promotional, you know, it, it's kind of drawing you in, um, into the app, into the whole, the whole thing. Uh, there's a user guide in the app as well for pairing molding, controls, and things like that. It's not overly complicated. Um, beyond that, controls, you're down to basically a tap and a double tap uh, with these. You have some customization as to what you can do. Let me go back and home and gear here. So you have the ability to do your single tap, uh, your double tap. Um, you can name them. Um, it's not a lot there. Kind of wish there was a little bit more, but there's only so much you can do. The, this is actually my biggest problem. And I haven't said it yet, but I give these about a 7 out of 10. Um, I would give them higher if it wasn't for this next thing. And that is the way you're tapping them. Um, these sense the vibration, the motion, um, the shock of when you're tapping them. That's how they know you're tapping them. It's not an inductive tap. It's not a button or anything like that. It's 100% the actual uh, motion of that tap on that unit, the vibration. And unfortunately... Um, and wearing these while running, uh, if I am running hard uh, on a surface, I and I can actually do what I want, I can make it do what I want to do, but um, the vibration of my feet on the ground, transmit up through my spine, into my head, is enough to make these things think that I've tapped them. So, not so great with that. Um, I'm going to actually make some adjustments. I'm probably going to make it so that a single tap on um, on the unit that was tending to do it more, probably based on my running, is on the right. So I'm probably going to make it so that's disabled, the single tap on that one. Uh, just leave me with a double tap. And I'll probably disable the single tap on the other side too and go back to a double tap. Um, I don't run fast enough for the double tap to take effect. But that single tap can get really annoying. Um, there was one point where it kept on skipping through track, so I'd get the first, you know, five seconds of a track, and then as I ran, it would go to the next track. So that's my biggest issue. Um, in terms of looks, so you put them in with the um, the charging port facing upwards. You put it in your ear, pretty much vertical, or oh, it feels vertical at least. And then you give them a slight twist backwards, top going to the back of the head. Same on the other side. And there you go. So um, they're a little bit different shape than most other units, but they fit well. They don't fall out. Um, so in that sense, and you can actually feel the tension when you pull them out. Um, back to that attenuation. Uh, I would say 60 to 70% of background noise was gone when I was doing that. I could barely hear my, well, I can hear myself speak 
in my you know my body, but I couldn't hear myself inside the room. Um, so other than that, they're really good. So in terms of comfort and fit, I would give them a nine out of ten. Um, probably would go slightly higher than that if um, if they felt like they went into the ear more. These actually sit more into the base of the actual ear. They don't go into the ear canal very much. Um, but that's fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just, I'm just worried about if, I, um, if I'm really working out and I get a good sweat, whether or not that will affect them. I haven't gone to that point yet. Um, so I'll, I'll give them a 9 out of 10 with fit. Uh, in terms of sound response, um, probably going to go with an 8. Uh, they seem pretty good across the whole spectrum. Um, but they don't, they don't have any huge amount of quality to them. Um, audio, I wouldn't say the audio is flat, um, but the audio, um, I guess it's missing life. You know, I, I don't know if you know what I mean by that, but basically um, there's a little bit here and there that seems to be missing, you know. Uh, they do give you EQ options on the app, but... Uh, it's limited as to what that actually does. Um, so that's that. Uh, in terms of the uh, function of them, I would give that probably closer to a five and a half or six. I think they should make it adjustable as to the uh, the amount of uh, uh, vibration, whatever it is that's causing uh, those to either you know go forward, go reverse, pause, play, whatever. Uh, when you tap them, like I said, when I run, they are changing on their own. So not so great for me. Um, in terms of the case and charging and battery life, I'll lump all those together because they all have to do with each other. Uh, to USB type C, points there. Um, the case is nice. It's got a clamshell, uh, points there. There is a reset button here. I haven't had any trouble with them charging. They fit in there nicely. They are magnetically held in, so that's good. Uh, the units know when you open or close the case. It's how you do the pairing and whatnot, uh, which is pretty good. I'll give that a 9. The only thing that I would add to that would be it would be great if they had added inductive charging on the case. Uh, I have a pair of anchors, uh, and they have inductive charging on the case, which means I can charge the case via my... Uh, pixel phone or I can use my inductive charger that I keep on my nightstand. So overall I'm going to give these a 7 out of 10. Um, if you can pick them up on sale and you're looking for something and you have those types of ears that just don't seem to fit anything, definitely worth a try. Um, free return shipping if they don't fit for you, if you can't make them work, uh, so you're out nothing. Um, and if you need headphones and you get those ears that just don't seem to fit anything, I give them a try. Again, 7 out of 10. If you want to give them a whirl, uh, that's Ultimate Ears. It's the UE Fits, and um, I'm going to keep them. I like them. I'm going to use them. See you later.